All right, I committed and I did it. We're here for my final two episodes of my recording session tonight. I made it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, guys, game is going on. Shoyo versus Shoku. You already know I'm going to cheer for the one and only Shaoku. They uh Rukawa really stepped up in this game. Got everybody out of their funk because they're like this first year showing me up no we ain't having that so that was good broke them out of their funk um and they they started get down to business but now the star of show yo is about to show up and it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be beautiful that is my trump impression it's terrible i know <laughs> but anyways let's jump into the reaction I will see you guys for the review. All right. I made it. Six episodes. I made it. I made it. I made it. Even though I'm super tired. But anyways, let's continue the discussion of the man that came in at the end there show you fujima fujima um i thought he was i i expected more for the entrance i really did for the first play you came on the court you're you know you're praised as the star of the team and you come in and he did some basic jump shot like i mean yeah he did dribble past a couple of guys you know what i'm saying which is not an easy task in basketball to continuously do that um don't get me wrong as I said, but I I still expected more because I'm watching an anime. I'm not seeing something in real life. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I thought they was going to make him do something spectacular. And I was kind of let down. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of let down by what they did there. But he's, he's still a force to be reckoned with because they just wanted to, to stay grounded. So I do understand that when it comes on to this anime. So there's nothing. Uh, um, it's not like I expected him to do anything like in particularly supernatural or anything like that it's just i thought he was gonna at least like dunk on a kagi or it's it's just that i had my egg they built him up too much because they let him sit on the bench and i get it he's the he's a coach he's a player coach so he you know he's he, i'm pretty sure this is not how he starts every game like he's not gonna do this if he plays kynan which is a number one you know what i'm saying team like he's not going to do that so to me it's disrespectful i get it you're talking about a team that has that's literally been washing everybody before them which is shoko the, the the level of disrespect in my opinion that he showed to shoko is unacceptable you should have started this game I think if he started this game and as the star, they would not be down. You know what I'm saying? Even though they just took back the lead, but they would have never been down. And I think because of him coming in at this point in the game, in the second half, that's probably going to cost them the game. Because it was a mishap on their part. You get what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, if they lose... I would definitely blame them, blame that on, blame, I would definitely blame them for doing that, you know what I'm saying, not to lose, but blame them for having your best player sit on the bench and thinking, oh, I'm so awesome, and you guys are so good, I don't have to be in the game, okay, I think you guys can handle it until you figure out they can't handle it and it might be too late. Because now it's going to be a tight game when probably you wouldn't have because you probably would have been in there as the floor general, um, you know, conducting the game and help them to keep that 10, 10, 11 point lead, right? But now you're coming in the second half down one. Like, now it's going to be a battle till the end because I don't see them, even if they do go on a run in this game, right, and go back up by 10, they're going to figure you out. Because that's what Shohoku does. That's what they do. They figure people out and then they step up their game. What are you going to do about Hanamichi? 
Is every shot you take going to go in? Is that what's going to happen now? He's going to make every single shot and go 100% for the game? I don't see that happening. He's a floor general. He probably does crazy assists. I want to see more. They hyped him up too much, and now I'm disappointed. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, so that's exactly what I'm going to name um, this video. Overhyped. Fujima <laughs> And I know it's gonna probably trigger some people because some, some people that watch my slam dunk reactions They probably love the dude You know what I'm saying? And I know it's going to trigger some people and I don't care <laughs> It's how I feel Anyways, you guys are awesome, man. You guys have always been awesome The game is tight right now. I love the fact that they they kind of showed how the Michi has he has over 20 rebounds right now. That one time he was there trying to get the shot, that was about 10 shots. He was rebounding or more. So he has well over 20 rebounds at this point for sure. You know what I'm saying? Unless they were just, you know, doing that to exaggerate the scene. Um, but in any case, it's a close game now. Everybody's stepping up. We got the best of... Um, the best of... Shouku versus the best of Shoyo now. All the best players are on the floor. I expect to see a great game over the next couple of episodes watching this second half of this game. And I expect Shouku to pull it out. Somebody better hit a game winning shot. Either Money, Mitsui, or a Gorilla Dunk from Akagi. I don't care how it comes by. I need Shouku to win this game. I want to see them win. And beat the steam and throw water in their face <laughs> because they they show they show off and it's going uh, as i said i'm gonna blame that it's it's their fault it's not even to say like shoku they are clearly in my opinion in my humble opinion they are clearly a better team than shohoku but because they're so cocky with their star player, they're probably going to end up losing this game. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not like he arrived late. He was there the whole time. And he didn't say, oh, they're coming back. Let me sub myself in and go help out my team. No, 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 no. And I know the dude, you know what I'm saying? The other one, whatever his name is. They said his name like a hundred times in, in over the past couple of episodes. And I still don't remember his name. Hanaman, Hanam, <laughs> whatever his name is, I know he waved him off when he was coming in before, and he waved him off. It's like, we got this, bro. You ain't gotta come in. Yeah, that didn't work out so well for y'all. <laughs> but in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm loving this series, so don't get it twisted and think that I'm not enjoying myself. It's obvious I'm enjoying myself. I'm pulling all kind of antics while I'm watching the show. I feel a lot more bubbly when I watch Slam Dunk. Um, and I know some people, there are some people that are watching my earlier reactions right now, and they're disagreeing, just like all you guys that are currently here are, um, didn't agree with some of the stuff that I said back then when I when the show was moving kind of slow and stuff. You know, when I talked about Hanamichi and him can't make him layups and stuff like that, you have people, like I'm getting comments like about those episodes still you know what I'm saying? And, you know, for me, it's just like, keep watching. Because it's it's not that I'm being overly critical of the show. It's I'm telling you what I see and what I, and, and what I expect. You know what I'm saying? And I've responded to those comments just the same as how I responded to y'all. I respond to them. I'm like, I think it was over-exaggerated. The whole layup thing. Nobody should be taking, you know what I'm saying, 10 layups with no defense and can't make it you're not a child i expect a little kid i, I literally my my seven-year-old nephew could i give him a ball first time and he can chuck it up there and at least make it one time because he knows where it's supposed to go <laughs> you know what i'm saying like come on man it doesn't take a lot of skill to to to, to um to make an uncontested layup it doesn't so stop making it seem like, oh, they're just trying to make it seem like, you know, he's an amateur and amateurs miss layups all the time. Yes, everybody misses layups. 
amateur and professionals miss layups. But on contested layups, there's a reason why you have layup lines in basketball. There's a reason why you have layup lines in basketball for warm up. You have a layup line, you have all the players lining up, taking layups, pass layups, and they miss sometimes. Even though it's uncontested, nobody's bothering them, they miss sometimes. You get what I'm saying? But to the man was out here practicing <laughs> and couldn't make one. Not even one. Like that that I think it was over exaggerated. And it's not Hannah Michi's fault. It's the guy that wrote the character's fault, okay? Sorry. Sorry. Said what it said, meant what it meant. Deal with it. Alright. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man. You already know Terabyte Reacts is gonna keep it authentic. I don't you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna take somebody else's feeling and come come portray it to y'all. It's gonna be straight from here. It's how I think, it's how I think about things. And hey, if I make a point and that's my opinion, that's just my opinion. It doesn't mean that it's fact. It's just my opinion. And your opinion is welcome here also. So don't be afraid to say what you think. You get what I'm saying? It's just that don't think that I'm going to back down off of my opinion if I feel that I'm right about it. Hey, if I'm wrong about it, or if I think that I'm being too harsh, I will admit that. I have no problems doing that. But in any case, we've talked about this too many times before, but it's kind of one of those things <laughs> when it comes on to this. I will troll the hell out of people because if they get triggered, are continuously getting triggered over it, I will continue to troll you. <laughs> Anyways, I've done it in plenty other series before where people don't like things that I say. And I'm and throughout the whole series, like if for you, you hawk a show, for you, you hawk a show, everybody was like, Silver, the dub is so much better. I troll them literally the entire series about them screaming how much the dub is better. And I'm just like, do you really think I'm gonna stop in the middle of my reactions when I'm so deep in and stop doing the sub to please a couple of people? Are you serious? Come on, man. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. When you're literally really complaining about nothing, you're literally complaining about nothing. But anyways, I'm just saying. It's how people are. I still get comments to this day saying, even though I finished Yu Yu Hakusho so long ago, people are still comment on the videos, the dub is better. I'm like, okay, bruh. <laughs> okay, good luck. <laughs> anyways, catch you guys next time, man. Peace.